don't know her at all. You don't know her? <laughs> <laughs> my sister, Dee Dee, and then uh, Bobby, and then my mom, Chris, she works here as well. This adventure started about a year and a half ago. My sister and my mom and I, we finally all sat down and said, you know what, why are we not doing this? And it didn't make as much sense, so we decided to give it a shot. <laughs> so we started planning actually at Barnes & Noble, sitting around drinking coffee and coming up with all the reasons why it wasn't a good idea and how it could go wrong. We tried to shoot it down in every possible way that we shouldn't do it. None of them seemed to balance out enough for us not to take the chance, so we decided to look into opening up a restaurant and we thought a food truck would be a good way to start out. And that's when we went to Fat Frog and we started getting our trailer built. decided that a food truck would be a good way to go. Here we go. Thank you so much. And to build up a clientele and figure out what, for one, what we wanted to do and offer to everybody. Between the both of us, we will have over 14 years of working in food and beverage, different places. So we definitely know food. <laughs> I'm really bad at this. <laughs> If you haven't figured out, we kind of got a little bit of character in our family. I said, it's Friday, we're opening today. She goes, yeah, it's like we have chicken. <laughs> I said, we just have to be careful. We can't eat it all the time. <laughs> we like to have fun and we joke around a lot. The logo, we wanted something funny. We wanted something that would catch people's eye. This kind of fits our personality. The funny chicken that looks clueless sitting there in the pot like he's having a great time. The bulldog like, yes, I know what I'm doing. Yeah, he's just chilling out in the pot like it's a hot tub, not knowing. The three piece. What kind of size did you want? She ended up ordering two meals. So it was like, my confidence went really high because I'm like, yes, yes, we got one. <laughs> we get a couple of repeat people that come up and she showed up to give us a shot. They keep coming back. I said, so we must be doing something right. She smiled and she ordered more food. I was just like, oh my gosh. It was just, it was amazing. I don't know, it just made me feel so good. And it's nice to know. <laughs> That what we're doing is actually appreciated and people like it. We're right here next to Oak Ridge Road where you can see us no matter what direction you're going. Right next to the railroad tracks. If you know where the only railroad tracks are on Oak Ridge, you're definitely going to find us. We're here on Fridays and Saturdays right now. And then we're going to be planning on going to other locations throughout the week and maybe on Sundays. But you can keep up with all that whenever you look us up on Facebook. My advice to be with people if you're coming out to try it out, then come get a two-piece dinner. I mean, it's two pieces of chicken, you get two sides. We have the basic side, you got french fries, mashed potatoes and gravy, baked beans and coleslaw. However you guys want to try it out, we're here. Do you guys have a secret recipe or anything like that? Yeah, something that, oh yeah. Uh, it's a lot of different stuff. <laughs> It's a little bit more spicier, it's got a little bit more flavor in it, it's got a whole bunch of stuff in it. If you try to figure it out, you're not going to get everything that goes in there. This is what we like and where we like it at. See, so we got a truck going by. <laughs> That's why I said sometimes it don't necessarily mean there's a train. <laughs>